Yes, that's it. Right, Rory, you go ahead, please, if that's okay. Thank, Thank you. Thanks, Johnny. Um, five five test centuries this year for Joe, including some some pretty big ones. I wonder if you could just sum up for us what what Joe means to this team. Uh, a heck of a lot, um, like he does to English cricket. Um, to go into second place in uh, leading run scorers in the history of the English game. Um, is very special to pass 9,000 test runs in this game. Is extremely special to score another 180 not out um, at Lords. Uh, I've run out of superlatives there, Rory, to be honest. Um, but um, but no, it's uh, it's great, isn't it? And to see him in the form that he is, playing the way he is, um, is uh, yeah, it, it's awesome to be out there uh, with him. Um, it's awesome to be out there. Putting into uh, putting on partnerships with him and uh, and enjoying every single moment of it like we have done over uh, many years. You were obviously out there with him, uh, sort of overnight and, and heading into this morning, and, and you batted out that that first session with him. How determined were you guys? I don't know how you sort of uh, approached the day about setting the game up, but how, how determined and hungry did Joe seem today? Look, I don't think there's ever a question of hunger. Um, like when it comes to uh, batting or anything like that. Um, I think the game today went through a few different periods. Um, obviously, uh, this morning the ball was a bit harder and then, as you probably saw, the rate, the rate kind of slowed because the ball got a lot softer and it was uh, more challenging and difficult to um, rotate the strike, also score boundaries. Um, so, the ebbed and flowed all day, I think. Um, and... I'm sure that if you guys sat there this morning, um, if uh, if you'd have said, right, we'll have a 27 run lead by the end of the day, um, you'd have been uh, fairly fairly happy with that. And we know that this, the the big runs and, and and your 50 of these things mean mean more when when you win a game of cricket. Do you think that's on the table now? Is it the, is that the favourite result in England win? I don't know. I'm not um, I'm not a bookie. I don't think I'll ever be. With them. Um, to be honest with you, I think that let's see how tomorrow goes. Uh, we've got a new ball in our hand. Uh, we saw it was tough and challenging when they got their second new ball um, in, uh, in, in uh, during today. Uh, so, so look, we come in tomorrow all firing and uh, we've got guys that are able to challenge them in, in every way possible. We've got the pace of Woody. We've got guys that uh, the swing of Jimmy. We've got the nip of Ollie Rob, uh, not to mention uh, Sammy Curran. Um, that look, I think that it's going to be a really challenging day, um, hopefully for the Indians, and we'll be looking to uh, make sure we're challenging every part of their game. Nice one, thank you. Well, back to you, Johnny. Thanks, Rory. Okay, let's go, Andrew Miller, and then Joe Rich, please. Hi, hi, Johnny. Um, it Andrew. looked like Joe um, made a really big point of um, running over to, towards the box and corner there. The family is presumably up there. And I suppose, you know, that ordinarily that wouldn't be weird. I suppose it, it kind of is after the year you guys have had. How much how much does it mean to be able to put on a performance like that, not just in front of the families, but again on a, on a Sunday at Saturday at Lords with a full crowd? I mean, it, is this the sort of, sort of thing that makes, makes all the hardship worthwhile to have days like this? How oh, good is it, Andrew? I mean, it's, uh, yeah, amazing to a uh, Saturday at Lord's. Joe and I, we said when we were walking out, we were, we were just um, smiling at each other. We went, how good is it to be walking out Saturday at Lord's Sun's out um, with one of your best mates? And that's exactly what it was. And we, we really enjoyed um, our partnership out there. It was about uh, having fun whilst you're out there and, um, and really relishing and trying to, to put us in, to a position that we can gain parity and, and we did and we've done that and gone slightly past them and um and like you say to have a, a full crowd uh, back at, at lords with the new stand um uh, with family and friends uh here was really special and that lords buzz the hum or however you want to uh to phrase it was most definitely back thank you okay let's go john please Sorry, John, you need to. Um, yeah, um, obviously, you know, you've known Joe a long time. I just wonder what it's like to bat with him, really. I mean, does he sort of uh, exhume the, the same sort of calmness that he looks to, to from the boundaries? Does he, does he talk much between overs? 
look, I think that there's different um, different parts of it. There's obviously depending on depending upon situations. If you've seen something with various bowlers, then then we'll chat about it. Um, I think with us batting for such a long period of time over many years, like you like you alluded to, I think you get a, a gauge of each other's temperament and um, you get a gauge on how each other are feeling in the middle. Um, so he'll mention a couple of bits, I may mention a couple of bits, and, and you just bounce off one another. And to be really honest, John, it, it's been about having uh, fun batting in the middle, playing for England and uh, enjoying the challenge these last uh, um, few weeks. And that's that's been... Um, the biggest part of it has been going in and playing with a smile, and um, and I think that that's like we've we've scored uh, what did we get to say nearly four hundred today. Um, scored nearly four hundred, and you can see uh, the way in which people are going about it and and they're enjoying um, being out there at the crease. You can see it like in the middle, um, smiling and laughing and and saying a, a few different bits when when we're out there in order to keep that relaxed relaxed but focused um, attitude which which enables you then to go on and score your runs thanks Jim. thanks John okay uh, Richard Gibson please just on mute Richard that's there you go hi Johnny um, you spoke in the pre-match about um, being happy with your form from Trent Bridge and how you're striking the ball and what have you I mean how, how pleasing was it to sort of follow that up with, with another innings here yeah it was pleasing consistency is something that you want, isn't it? Um, so, uh, yeah, to follow it up and uh, get 57, I think it was, um, was, was pleasing. I'd have liked to have gone on naturally. Um, yeah, but it was uh, one of those things. Um, like, we spoke about, obviously, the, the pitch from Shaw is slightly too paced, so uh, you, you'll have seen yourself, a few that were flying through to the keeper, um, and then the others were, that were dying and... and uh, not not going through as well. So, um, yeah, when you're trying to duck and weave on a, uh, a pitch that potentially isn't um, the same pace can can get can get tricky. And look, it caught a glove today. On another day, it might go over the over the slip cord. And um, on another day, you get a bottom edge and it goes to one. Um, look, that's part and parcel of the game. You mentioned the word consistency. You've been someone that's moved about in the order, and obviously. You've kept wicket and then you've played as a specialist batsman. Is this, do you see this as a chance to sort of nail down a consistent position for the rest of the summer? Um, well, absolutely. You want to you want to be playing, don't you? And um, if you if you're playing and and you and you're scoring runs, then you want to be within the side. So I also think it depends on how the balance of the side works. Uh, to be really honest, uh, and there's there's different balances and different looks that you can you can go for. So you've got to be mindful of that. Um, mindful of that naturally but look uh, first and foremost I just want to remain in the mindset that I'm in remain in uh, with the um, uh, remain with the method and, and technique that I'm implementing uh, and hopefully I can continue to score runs and, and be out there for longer periods of time like we were today and and putting on 100 partnerships and, and gaining 50 partnerships with 50s, 100s, 75s however you want to do it but gaining those valuable runs and, uh, out in the middle. And if you're spending more and more time out there, look, you may contribute 10 to a 50 run partnership, but if you're out there for a 50 run partnership, those 10 are, are invaluable. It might be the next time. If you're still out there, you may contribute 40 and someone else may contribute 10. So it ebbs and flows. And yeah, like I say, um, if I, if I continue with this method, then hopefully uh, the, a big one's just around the corner. So it doesn't really bother you where you bat in that, in, in within the sort of the, 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 the batting order. Look, I, I think that, I, it, like I said, it depends on the uh, balance of the team and collection of the side. Thank you. Okay, last question, Abhishek. From India. Go ahead, Abhishek. Yes, um, I just have one question for, for Johnny. Uh, what did you make of India's uh, short ball strategy? Uh, you seem to be in control until you face that delivery from around the wicket. Uh, uh, were you fully in control? And was it uh, until that point, that is? And was it frustrating to get out like that? Um, yeah, there's been short ball uh, plans or whatever for the last 10 years of people's career. So it wasn't uh, something that had been um, too, too fussed about. Uh, look, like I mentioned, it, it came out of the wicket a bit slow. I was through the shot and it caught a glove. Um, it's part and parcel of the game. Um, but if, uh, if they're going short, 
then they're obviously you're doing something right within within your defence and uh, you're able to counteract it from different parts of your game. Okay, we're done. Thank you very much, everyone. See you tomorrow. Thanks, guys.